Welcome to January, and believe it or not, I was actually planting my last bulbs yesterday. This is probably the latest I've ever planted. If the ground is not frozen where you're at, you can still put some in, and they're almost giving them away at nurseries. I posted a picture also of this morning glory seed pod, and somebody saw it and said, hey, can I have some seeds? And I'm like, sure. So I thought, why not show how to save seeds? The only thing you really have to know is that hybrid seeds will not come true. Open pollinated varieties like this morning glory will be the same thing next year. And so we just want to get the seeds before the plant discards them. And if you look at these pods, <laughs> this plant's ready to discard them. And so we're just going to get a little envelope. And I already pulled a couple off. And just squeeze these little seed pods until the seeds come out. Now for a lot of people, morning glories are like a real invasive, but in my garden, even though they drop seeds like this, they don't really overrun it. This is a really beautiful double variety called Split Second, and I love the pink blooms all season, and they were coming out of this <laughs> unique birdhouse, let's just say that. All right, I am gonna keep pulling these seeds out of here. I'm gonna send off some to a viewer if you want some seeds. Connect with me, I'll send you some. And then we're going inside, it's cold out here. And always be sure to label these seed packets and what year they're from. Happy New Year. The Morning Glory seeds now will be stored in an airtight jar, like a mason jar, to keep them dry. That's important. This is a living organism. We keep it dry and cool, and then in the spring we'll plant these. But we're working with some other seeds today. These are milkweed seeds, specifically butterfly weed. And this type of seed needs a special treatment called stratification, which just means cold treatment. Out in nature, plant flowers, set seeds, the seeds drop into the soil, they stay there all winter, they get cold, and then in the spring they will sprout. And so there's three different ways to stratify milkweed seeds. The first is just dry. And so we will take a sandwich bag, see the sandwich? <laughs> and we will just put a little bit of the seed in here and seal it. And whenever we're doing something like this, we're not going to use all our seed because you, you never know. You know, we're kind of not putting all our eggs in one basket by doing this. There's some seeds that way. Another way to stratify the seeds will be to put them first in a moist paper towel. And we'll do that. And we'll fold it over. And we'll put it into our sandwich bag. Now, when we're done with this, and our next version of stratification, these all just go into the refrigerator for 30 days, maybe six weeks. I usually do six weeks. Anything that, that's wet like this, we'll have to keep an eye on because they could even sprout in the fridge. All right, those are ready. And then this type of stratification, we're gonna actually sprinkle the seeds onto this planting mix, and that's important to use something like a planting mix, not garden soil or potting soil. This is a very light planting mix that we start our seeds in. Before we put the seeds in, we have moistened the planting mix and it's, it's not soaking wet, it's just a little moist. And take our seeds, sprinkle them in here. Just kind of push them down in there so that they have good contact with the soil. Maybe throw a little bit on top. And that goes into this plastic bag, a bigger one. We will label all the bags so that someone that goes into the refrigerator <laughs> doesn't think this is something to eat. That would be a bad thing. All right, as I said, these will go in the fridge about six weeks. Then we bring them out. We can start them. And we will do a little test here and see which one of these three, when we are ready, is going to be sprouting the best, the best germination rate. Okay, I'm going to label these up and we have one more seed job to do and then we're done. Butterfly weed. And I'll put a date on here too. Well, take a look at this mess. These are all the seeds from just last year. <laughs> Either people have sent me or I bought and they need to be organized, otherwise they're not gonna get sewed at the right time. I've got three bags here. One marked inside sew, one marked direct sew early, and then direct sew 
later in the season. And so I'm going to take all these. I'll get them down to three bags. And hopefully, <laughs> everything will get planted at the right time. This shouldn't take long. Really red deer tongue lettuce. All right, we are actually organized. All I need now is about 20 acres of garden space. How many of these will get planted? We'll see, but we've got a lot of cool stuff here. All right, let's finish up. I can't wait to get something started, and I am going to go through here and find something I can at least get going in the greenhouse. Now, be sure to check me out online. Lots of great garden information there, and you can follow my upcoming trip to Baltimore. I'm going to be at the Mid-Atlantic Nursery Trade Show, where all the new stuff is introduced. Until next week, I got a pack. We'll see you then.